good morning hello so game plan for this morning i need to take kaiser to daycare so i can sleep after i film this video and i need to put tanner on because i'm doing a photo shoot tonight for the new balance launch with my friend jenna which is really exciting i just am so tired but new text message from mommy I think that's my signal it's time to go home anyways i'm super excited you guys are here i hope you're happy to be here i hope you're having a wonderful day and let's see what's in my nursing bag good morning you guys it is 8 58 i should be asleep right now but instead i am going to show you guys what i bring to work literally this is exactly how i just took my stuff out of my car i didn't clean anything in any of these bags i'm gonna show you what's in my lunch bag and my work bag and we're gonna see what i have all right let's hop right into it so i can go to sleep okay first things first i basically never bring this bag inside the house. I like to keep all of my work stuff in one place, which is in my Jeep, just because of bacteria and everything going on at the hospital. That's typically what I like to do. But in a situation, I sprayed some Lysol on it. We're gonna call it good and I'll sanitize this floor when I'm done. But these are the things that I bring to work. You guys probably saw me carrying them as I was leaving the hospital. On top of that, I have my hydro jug, which is great because I have the, uh, uh, I have the carrier, which makes it really convenient. I just pop in with my bag, I have my hydro jug, and I have my lunchbox. So in my lunchbox, I don't really have a whole lot as far as essentials go. I have, this is, we're gonna pull it all out here. I have some cortisone cream. I have some Benadryl because my floor is so dry and when my eyes get dry and itchy or I just feel like my allergies are flaring, I have both of those things. And then I have some Tylenol cold and flu when I was sick in January. And then I just have some gift cards for our local coffee shops. So I'm not going to show you guys those. But that is what's in the first pocket. And then I think it opens up here. I'll link this uh, lunchbox down below as well. I've been using it since last summer, I believe. But nothing in here. I don't have a... Uh, ice pack or anything because I just put everything in there and threw it in the fridge right when I got to work last night so no ice pack but I do have some nuts and more always got to have some peanut butter just in case this is toffee crunch by nuts and more and then I just have a protein bar and that's what we have left in the lunch box and then in my hydro jug carrier I don't think I have anything in here but I do have two pockets where sometimes I will stuff something in there a snack or something if I'm eating or you know on my way to work and I need a verb bar I like to do that a lot now for the most important thing the thing you guys care about the most what is in my nurse bag this, this nurse bag is by the brand Vure. They don't have this duffel available right now, but I think they're coming out with more soon is my understanding. Be on the lookout for that. But pulling things out for the first thing I have is a little tumbler cup here. This is by Absolutely Abby. She has awesome cups, uh, Starbucks cups on her Etsy shop where she restocks them and stuff. But it just says my name on it, super cute cheetah with a stethoscope next up we have my stethoscope i have had this stethoscope since i was in nursing school i really wouldn't mind getting a new one though because i just i love the hot pink but i wouldn't mind getting a neutral color like a black or a white or something like that but this is my stethoscope it is a litman i will write down in the description box what exactly i have but i get a lot of questions on this little tag and this tag is from an etsy shop as well i can't remember what one it is but i just had my stethoscope stolen a couple times or misplaced and i got really nervous so i ordered one of these to have on the tag just so people know that it's mine at all times next up we have a this actually is for my back seat for my dog's uh, carrier when I have his folded black. It folds out on the seat so that he doesn't get tons of hair and dirt on my seat and this actually attaches to his collar. Why is it in my bag? I don't know. We have a phone charger. Always gotta have a phone charger. I think I have several in here because having a dead phone at work is just asking for misery because when you you know have a dog it's like you have a child so you know 
got to communicate and stuff. Got a phone charger. And I'm digging in a pocket right now. I haven't even dug into the main compartment yet. Then we have a toothbrush and toothpaste because if you are a nurse and you work 12 hour shifts and you work night shift, your breath kind of stinks sometimes. And I hate that a lot. I don't love that. If having a nasty taste in your mouth around 4 a.m., 3 a.m. or if you forget to brush your teeth, which that's happened to me, I think that's actually why I had this in here because yeah. Forgot to brush my teeth one day. So I always keep toothbrush and toothpaste in there just in case for emergencies. Makes me feel better about myself. Then we have some Burt's Bees cuticle butter. If you know me, my cuticles are always disgusting and nasty. Specifically because I use hand sanitizer foam in, foam out, foam in, foam out, you know. So this stuff is great to throw on your cuticles. They're so stinking dry. Every time I get my nails done, they're like, girl, what is your deal? Nurse life, you know? Smells so good. Highly recommend that. And then we have a crackle piece of chocolate. That's gross. And another little device for charging your phone. I don't know why. That's the first pocket. We go into the main pocket. I have a used mask. Also disgusting. I think that's a mask that I put on to leave the hospital, so don't get too irritated or grossed out. I mean, I honestly, I think it's a cleaner mask than what I would use at work. I get rid of those immediately. We'll go into the other side pockets over here. So I have two side pockets over here. I have one right here and one right here. And in this one, we have this little pouch that just has, it's connected in the bag, which is so great. And I think I have tampons and pads in here. Yep, I just have some tampons and pads. I don't um, get my period very often at all. I That's just an IUD thing. I have an IUD. I've talked about my experience on my Instagram. I don't have my period. So, yes, it's very normal before you go into the comments and discuss it. It's normal. And for me, that's my normal. So that is in that pocket. And then I have some sour strips. Yee! These are a big hit at work, to be completely honest. I like to bring these out around 3 a.m., 4 a.m. when we're all needing a little little sugar kick, you know? So that, and then I just have some paperwork here. This is just some work stuff that I don't need to share with you. Not any HIPAA information, but just stuff about, just handout stuff that I obviously need. We're gonna hop back out to the back pockets because I realized I forgot these two pockets and these two pockets. I don't really know why I skipped those, but I did. So we're gonna go through those. Over here in the first pocket, I have a pack of gum. Extra gum is my favorite gum ever. Have to have it at all times. I love to chew gum on nights, especially because you. I just, I like to have something in my mouth. I know that sounds bad, but I do. It's just, I like to have gum. In this pocket, I have some tea bags. That does not look very classy, but I like tea, hot tea. Sometimes I'll bring my uh, thermos or just something where I can just put these tea bags in there. I think this is when I really didn't feel good. This also correlates with the Tylenol PM and stuff when I didn't feel good in January because I brought a mug with me and I just had tea all night long because my throat hurt so bad. That was before all this COVID stuff started, but I have some tea bags in there just in case. And tea's just, I like tea a lot. It gives you a little bit of caffeine, but not too much that you wouldn't be able to sleep, if you know what I mean. And then in this other pocket, I have my portable charger. This is my second charger, but this one is so awesome. I will link this one below. This is my Amazon one, and it comes out here. This is so great for work. Um, no, I don't sit on my phone all the time, but yes, I have my phone at work. I just do. And this is a little portable charger that has the connectors attached to it. So all you do is just pull this off here and you have your wires to charge. It has a USB uh, lightning cable, I want to say is right here. Yep, there's your lightning cable. And then I think there's another one on this side. Yeah, this one is, I don't know what that one is, but... Three, car, three cords, it can plug into the wall and you can also plug in stuff at the bottom of it. But I just think that it's so great. I have a couple of these. I have one for my work bag and I also have one for my purse and just in my car in general. This pocket, I have some masks because at my hospital we are actually required to, you're not, 
it's very encouraged for you to wear a mask into the hospital. I have to wear a mask my entire shift. I mean, that's my reality is wearing a mask. Whether you agree with that or not, I have to wear one and a face shield. We're encouraged at our hospital slash campus to wear a mask in. I actually have a bunch of masks. I got these from Janu. They have a ton of cute prints. The reason I really like these and I was excited about trying these is because they're antimicrobial. They're from Janu, which is an actual scrub brand. So the material that these are made of is super durable. You just throw them in the washer when you're done. Like this one has makeup on it. I had told you guys that I was kind of straying away from wearing makeup to work, but I hadn't seen a COVID patient. We hadn't had them on our floor for a little bit. So I did start wearing makeup again, just face makeup essentially. These masks are great because they have a little filtration in them. So all I do when I'm done is just like this one needs to be washed, but I, I have a bag of a few of them here. You just throw it in the washer and call it a day and that's kind of the new reality is I have a couple different ones I have some navy ones actually Sam's been wearing the navy ones and I've been wearing these floral print ones but they have a ton of cute different prints colors and they have them for adults and children so that's really neat and I think that their goal with the mask movement situation is they are trying to donate over a million masks. They're donating to a few different places and I'll actually list them on screen for you guys. But if you're interested in checking out any of the masks, I highly recommend them. They've honestly become a big part of my work routine slash life routine. I've been wearing them into work slash out of work. I've probably worn these the most out in public, but I have some in my work bag and I kind of have masks everywhere at this point. That's kind of where they're dispersing. If you guys are interested in checking out some. They have a ton of different cute prints. You can visit Janu.com. They also have really awesome scrubs. I personally, personally have not worn their scrubs, but I have so many friends that love their scrubs and wear them. So I'm probably going to give them a shot. I really want to try their joggers, masks. Then underneath that, I have an oatmeal pack because we're all about team snack over here. Again, this is one of those things that you could just bring, that you could just bring a like a bowl or a thermos of some kind and just pour this in there in hot water. Boom, easy 100 calorie snack right there. And in the next pocket, we have more of my favorite snacks. We have some verb bars, again, caffeine, caffeine, caffeine. We have maple, blueberry, and some Simply Cocoa. And then, of course, we have some hand sanitizer. So on the outside pockets, I have my masks, I have my hand sanitizer, and my snacks. We're set to go. Let's dig into the main pocket. I feel like this is really long, but this is actually everything that's in my bag right now. Okay, messy, messy, messy. This is my notepad. I actually have some notes on here about DKA and this is from, God, when did I do this? This was right in the beginning of my nursing journey. Not, not right in the beginning, I think last summer, but I have tons of stuff on this page, just about my unit and my floor. Lots of stuff I wrote down when I first got off orientation, when I was going through orientation. I do keep this in my bag because there's so much good information on here. And I highly recommend if you are someone like me where you like to write things down, have something like this in your bag. It doesn't have to be this big. I probably actually might downgrade to like one of those clipboard things that you just write minimally on and you can like put it in your pocket a lot of nurses on my floor have those actually so i might get one of those but this is great has a lot of info on it i can jot down things if something new happens which i feel like i'm always learning something new on my floor that's that we have more sour strips that might have just fallen off of the big pockets shove those back in there actually what else do we have in here we have my very well organized situation this is my badge that I'm not going to show you this is my badge this is my mess of note stuff this book right here is one of my favorite books ever uh, it's a medical surgical handbook I have some note cards in there pinned but these are nrsng note cards that are just your basic i think i pinpointed a couple pages maybe the stuff i was experiencing but these are just your basic kind of like if you had one of those clipboards as like a guidebook this has cardiac neuro musculoskeletal 
uh, Euro, like everything on here, EKG, rhythm, stuff like that. I just completely messed them up. I'm gonna have to organize this again. I kind of had everything in here all messed up, but lots of good information on there that you can just refer to if you have a question or you're thinking about something. There's a little hole on here and I never utilized this but there's a little hole on the top of these cards that you could put a ring through so it's like a ring which is really nice if you run into the break room and you want to refer to something that kind of thing but I just keep these in here and I look over this stuff occasionally I like to go through this if I have something new or a question I remember when I was learning about taking care of liver patients and alcohol withdrawal situations like that I would refer back to this book a lot because you want to memorize the type of patient you're coming into contact with so more sour strips, a gum wrapper, a pen, a keychain, and that is it. That is all she wrote. All right, you guys, I hope that that was fun. I know I don't have tons of exciting things in my bag. Oh my God. I am 1000% missing a little pouch that has Visine in it for my contacts. I know there's Visine in there, there's Tylenol in there, there's chapstick in there, hair ties. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was exciting, helpful. I love seeing what other people have in their bags. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're staying happy and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. I can't believe I have this much energy at 8 a.m. It's actually 9. I need to go to bed right now.